Hello, YouTube. This is how we redid this. Okay. This started out was actually an easy out that was made square with a square type e easy out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's quarter inch wide. When this first started out, it was three sixteenths of an inch tall. Okay. What we did before we show that, we'll show what we ended up with. In order to be centered on my lathe, the Sears 109, this is maybe like two degrees up to be centered. These set about 30 seconds higher. So I made this so when this is level, it's just right with these bits. With the high speed steel, it has to be angled a little bit. Okay. Now what we did to make this, this piece just to make up the difference that it's not on the lathe, so it keeps the slot up. So that's what that little piece is for. Okay. And what we did is we chucked this in the nano lathe. Okay. We used stones like this to put a curve to it. This had gouges and grooves. I do not know why it was that bad a shape. What was ever done? How we came up with what we wanted was this is two and a half inch diameter, okay? We needed something to start with, so we made it to fit that, okay? And once we got that made, then we made this piece, okay? And we did this with a four and a half inch grinder with a cutter disc blade to grind it and a flapper disc and then we finished off with Dremel uh, various stones like this to keep going around checking it. We had plenty of marker on it same as die with scratch marks. We got all done and we had to take about a 30 second off the top of it. Okay, so if you measure this it's not going to be 3 sixteenths. It would be 1 30 second less. This is one and a quarter inch long. So, if somebody was ever going to make one of these, it's going to be totally different than mine. But it does seem to fit in there really good. It rocks good. So, problem solved. Okay. I think we got that covered. Kind of bright there with that lamp. We'll take a couple pictures of it. Uh, like I said. I made it to fit these bits, and it also worked with these. And you just have to tilt it up. When I measured with the protractor, it was like two degrees. And you're just gonna get close to trying to guess what it is. So that's good. It's okay that it just picks up just a little bit to get on center. Okay, I think we covered that good enough. I said this was kind of tricky to do, spinning in the lathe using a Dremel like a tool pulse grinder to get that curve in there just right and we experimented we even used a ball uh, if I could find one real quick we even used like one of these but just some ideas in case somebody has one of these and wants to make one this little wedge okay thanks again for watching